counting double digit thousands. Tracks. Yo, what is going on, guys? Your boy Russ back again with some more Madden 18 Ultimate Team. You guys can see we still got Cam Newton the QB. It might change him soon, though, man. I mean, for real, Cam Newton. I've been playing mud squads with him. I've been playing normal, you know, normal one on one with him, head to head. And uh, he plays like terrible in mud squads. It seems like. And then when I play one on one, plays fantastic. So. We'll see how that goes. I usually play more mutt squads than regular head-to-head -head anyway, but I guess we'll see um, if I do decide to make a change at quarterback, which I doubt because, honestly, there's not a lot of QBs that I want to get. The only one that people seem to be wanting right now is that Cam Newton, and he's like 100 or 120 k so it's like really easy to get him. So I guess we'll see you know, going forward if we do get um, a new QB. No real new upgrades to the squad other than that. We will have one next episode. Um, I do end up getting a new lineman, which is actually... One of the positions that I really need is, you know, some sort of good lineman. You guys can see right there we do get the interception with Champ Bailey, uh, who I recently did upgrade to the 87 overall, but this gameplay was played before that. Um, so he is an 85, but the 87 overall Champ Bailey, I'm not sure if I dropped the video on that or I'm going to, um, but his stats are pretty damn good, and I'm pretty excited to be using him. So Champ Bailey, he plays like like a beast for me when, when I use him, but uh, I don't know. Recently he's been getting mossed and beat, so it's been kind of – weird that you know he's been getting destroyed like that but they you know they came out the 87 boosted and i'm pretty excited to try to get that card and see how he does you guys saw we did end up hitting demarius thomas for an easy touchdown man i mean he got wide open this dude starts sending blitzes i don't know what he was doing um right there probably should have been another pick should have been another pick and unfortunately we're not able to get it. he's one for four with dak prescott we've started off this game wells right here just throw right at me man why the fuck not hassan reddick does come up with that interception we almost take it to the house but unfortunately, we do get tackled about the six-yard line. So, <clears throat> usually when I get leads, right, I don't get rid of them. Like, meaning I don't uh, blow them, basically. You guys see right there, we do get in with Jamizo Owali to make it 14 to nothing. You guys will see in this game, this game's going really well for us, man. But it takes a turn. It takes a turn. It's a pretty good game. Um, right here, third and five. I don't know how the hell that even worked. Uh, it looked like he ran a screen, and then it was completely busted. But he ended up getting it anyway right here. My corner, I think that's Champ Bailey, goes completely brain dead and doesn't even react to it. And second and ten, he's looking again with Dak Prescott. Throws it on the run. And Byron Maxwell is going to get that speed burst and pick it off just in front of the receiver for the easy interception on second and ten. So we get the ball back on offense. And, of course, we want to try to go downfield. And sure enough, I run this one play. We run the corner, and Tyreek Hill is wide open, and Tyreek Hill is gone, man. With 3 minutes and 30 seconds left in the second quarter, Tyreek Hill all the way to the end zone. So this dude is back on offense, and then he starts to run the ball a little bit. You know, this guy actually had some success running the ball in this game with Spencer Ware. Right here, he gets another good run play with him, running all the way to the outside. Just really good blocking. Um, I think I sent a blitz, and it just didn't get through. We end up getting him at the 17-yard line, thank God. First and 10, Dak Prescott looking, throwing, almost throwing an interception right there. Really, really close. 5 for 13 with Dak so far for like 23 yards. Right here, I thought I had a pick, and instead it's actually a catch for a touchdown, man. That was terrible. That was terrible, man. I thought I had the easy interception, and instead he gets a touchdown. So 21 to 7. You know, it ain't bad yet. 21 to 7. We still up by 14. We still, uh, still doing well. We're trying to run with Cam Newton, um, juking in, which is probably not a good thing. But we did it, and we ended up uh, you know, getting a good amount of yards, not fumbling. Right here, we hit the out route, get to the 26, 4 for 4 for 177 yards with Cam Newton. We're killing it with him right now, man. Like I said, does not play well for me in mutt squads. Plays great for me in head-to-head, -head, and he's continuing to do that right now as we avoid a bunch of sacks and end up taking off for about 5 or 6 yards as we hurdle. Don't know why I hurdled. I think I just did it because I figured I wasn't going to fumble. And I was hurdling out of bounds, basically. Uh, second and five, we do try to run the ball with LT to the outside. Don't get anything. Third and inches, we try to run a toss out of goal line. Cut that back in because I didn't see anything to the outside. And unfortunately, we don't get anything. So we do have to go ahead and settle for the field goal, which I'm not mad at. You know, 24 to 7, we'll take it up by three scores. But. You guys will see what happens, man. The shit gets crazy right here. First of all, I don't know how the hell he even completed that, but he did. Completes it over three people, so now he's in field goal range. Or really close to field goal range. With four seconds left, he just fucking yams on me in the, in the end zone. And just like that, this game is within seven, man. 
That reminds me of that catch I made last video. If you guys did not see last episode, be sure to go check it out. As he gets the onside kick. He onside kicks with one second left, and that pissed me off, man. But, um, I don't even know what I was saying now. Fuck it. You know what? Whatever. I lost my train of thought. I always lose my train of thought right here. Marshawn Lattimore gets the interception, trying to take it to the house. And, uh, unfortunately, we're not able to do that. So, 24 to 14. Um, could be better. Could be better. What I was going to say as he... Oh, my God. Keep getting interrupted by onside kicks, man. I don't know why the hell this dude going goomball season and kicking fucking onside kicks. I don't know why he doing that. But he's done it twice, and it's very annoying. But like I said, um, or as I was trying to say, last episode we did have a catch with uh, Travis Benjamin at the very end of the half that was similar to that one. And obviously that one went my way. This one didn't. I don't know, karma maybe. But right here, Cam Newton does fumble after a sack on second and 19. And this dude ends up getting the ball back. So first and 10, he's looking, he's firing, he's finding someone for an easy first down and some as we do make the tackle way later in that play than we should have. So first and 10, he's looking again with Dak and this dude, he just keeps moving, man. He's finding plays, you know, he's, he's finding a way to get down the field. First and goal, he's looking with Dak again. Ends up finding the screen pass and nobody wants to make the tackle. I thought that Kerrigan would make the tackle. I tried to click on and get a suction. Nothing was working. And all of a sudden, this is a three-point game. We gave up a 21-point lead. And this is not good, man. But we're trying to move the ball. We're still 5-for-5 five five with Cam. And this guy's scores have been pretty sketchy. And I have a lot of confidence that we can move the ball. But with blitzes like that, man, I don't even know what to say about that. Second and 13, Cam looking, finding Zach Ertz for a couple of yards. Not much right there. 7-for-7 seven seven with Cam for over 200 yards now. Right here, he leaves the middle of the field open. I'm going to take that with Cam all day. You guys already know Cam with that 82 speed is deadly. First and 10, taking off with the Danian Tomlinson getting hit, but only a couple yards short of the first down. So a good first yard run by LaDainian Tomlinson. We bring in Marshawn Lynch because you already know it's time for beast mode to shine, man. You guys already know late in the game, I do end up running it with Marshawn Lynch a lot to try to run over people. Um, and he's basically just my clocking back. Um, I like to use him a lot as my main back too, but mainly it's LT and then Marshawn Lynch comes in to spell him right here. Basically tried to get a couple yards off of that play. There's really nothing. I mean, he had a spy up and there was just nothing open. Tried to get a couple. Third and seven, though. We fire that dot, man, to the back of the end zone to J.J. Nelson. I actually subbed in Demarius Thomas on the right side of the field, but I subbed in the wrong receiver. So that pass was supposed to go to Demarius Thomas, but it went to J.J. Nelson. And J.J. Nelson's one like those new team of the week cards. It really only has speed. Not sure how he made that catch, but you know what he did. Not sure how Cam even made the high point pass, but you know what he did, and we'll take it. So now up by two scores again. We have this game back in our hands, forcing this guy to fourth and two. He does get the first, though, but I'm not even mad. Up by 10 points, minute 30 left. You want to go like two, three-yard passes. I mean, that's fine with me right here. He tries to chuck it up deep, um, probably the smartest thing he's done, and it does end up getting batted away. So second and 10, Dak looking again, chucking it up, and it is intercepted. Almost intercepted, or I, I mean, I almost had the user pick, but it ends up getting dropped because I guess I held triangle too long. And then Ryan Shazier does come up with the interception. We start taunting because, honestly, I couldn't get those fucking onside kicks out of my head. And, honestly, I was pretty upset that he was running those onside kicks. And, apparently, Marshawn Lynch was, too, because he goes full beast mode. And that is a 42-yard touchdown run. Actually, that might be more. Actually, I think that was like a 60-yard touchdown run. I don't know what that was. That was insane. Really good run either way. And Marshawn Lynch does take it to the house to make it 37 to 21. And this dude ends up going for it on fourth down. We we held him to like fourth and 19. Nothing he could do. So this dude makes a really good comeback. We give up a 21-point lead to make it like a three, a three-point lead. It was like 21 to nothing. And then he comes back 24 to 21. And we do pull away late to make it 37 to 21. So I did hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to look out for the next one. And as always, Dander's Army, I'm out. Like a hell cut.